River Deep Mountain High is the title track of whose 1966 album? Marvin Gaye's, Sonny and Cher's or Ike and Tina Turner's? And it's the title track of Ike and Tina Turner's album. Who played Kato in the Green Hornet TV series? Was it Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan or Chuck Norris? And the correct answer is Bruce Lee. Which 60s band is known for the songs Somebody to Love and White Rabbit? Was it the Mamas and the Papas, the Birds or Jefferson Airplane? And the correct answer there, Jefferson Airplane. The Great Escape is based on a true story about an escape from a prisoner of war camp during which war? World War I, II or the Vietnam War? And there's a bonus point if you can remember who was known as the Cooler King in that film. And the correct answer is World War II. Name Stanley Kubrick's sci-fi movie from 1968. Is it First Men in the Moon, Barbarella or 2001 A Space Odyssey? And that's not a typo, there was a film called First Men in the Moon. But the correct answer here is 2001 A Space Odyssey. Which 60s TV detective used a wheelchair? Was it Ironside, Poirot or Clouseau? And it was Ironside. Which song by Simon and Garfunkel is associated with the film The Graduate? The Sound of Silence, Bridge Over Troubled Water or Mrs Robinson? And the correct answer, Mrs Robinson. In the television sitcom, how did the Beverly Hillbillies get rich? Was it on the stock market, they discovered oil or they discovered gold? The answer is, they discovered oil. Who starred in the title role of the original 60s Batman series? Was it Burt Ward, Adam West or George Clooney? Holy smoke, the answer is Adam West. Who played Bonnie and Clyde in the 1967 film? Was it Clint Eastwood and Jane Fonda, Robert Redford and Natalie Wood or Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway? And it was Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway. Name the Bob Dylan song released in 1963 that became an anthem for the civil rights movement. Was it Blowing in the Wind, Mr Tambourine Man or Like a Rolling Stone? And that one is Blowing in the Wind. Which 1962 film, based on Harper Lee's novel, won Gregory Peck an Academy Award for Best Actor? Lawrence of Arabia, Breakfast at Tiffany's or To Kill a Mockingbird? And can you remember his character name for a bonus point? The answer is To Kill a Mockingbird. Which British rock band had Eric Clapton as their lead guitarist during the 1960s? The Yardbirds, Kinks or Animals? And he was the lead guitarist of the Yardbirds. In the Flintstones, where does Fred Flintstone work? In a zoo, bowling alley or quarry? And he works in a quarry. What's the name of the orphan boy who helps Tarzan in the 60s TV series? Was he Mowgli, George or Jai? And the correct answer is Jai. Name the 1967 movie with Lee Marvin and Charles Bronson set during World War II. Our Man Flint, The Dirty Dozen or Coogan's Bluff. And it is The Dirty Dozen. Who was crying over you in 1961? Sam Cooke, Elvis or Roy Orbison? And that was Roy Orbison. In the original Star Trek series, how long was its mission to boldly go where no man has gone before? Two, five or ten years? And do you enjoy these types of quizzes? If you do, give me a thumbs up to let me know. The correct answer, it was a five year mission. Which iconic band released the album Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band in 1967? Was it the Rolling Stones, The Who or The Beatles? And the answer, The Beatles. Yogi Bear is a resident of which park? 
Blackstone, Yellowstone or Jellystone. And he's smarter than the average bear in Jellystone. Who played the role of Maria in the 1965 film adaptation of The Sound of Music? Was it Audrey Hepburn, Julie Andrews or Dewey Christie? And it was Julie Andrews. In the TV show The Monsters, who does Dad Herman look like? Bigfoot, Dracula or Frankenstein's monster? And he looks like Frankenstein's monster. Which police department does Detective Joe Friday work for in Dragnet? The NYPD, SFPD or LAPD? And he works for the LAPD. Where is the house located in the Animals 1964 hit House of the Rising Sun? In San Diego, New Orleans or San Jose? And it's in New Orleans. They Call Me Mr Tibbs is a famous line from which movie starring Sidney Poitier as a detective? Cool Hand Luke, Bonnie and Clyde or In the Heat of the Night? And the correct answer there, In the Heat of the Night. Name Dick Dastardly's sidekick dog in the Wacky Races cartoon series. Is he Muttley, Huckleberry or Droopy? And he is Muttley. Who played the lead character, astronaut George Taylor, in Planet of the Apes? Was it Charlton Heston, Paul Newman or Steve McQueen? The answer is Charlton Heston. Which band released the album Are You Experienced in 1967 featuring songs Purple Haze and Hey Joe? Was it The Doors, The Velvet Underground or The Jimi Hendrix Experience? The correct answer, The Jimi Hendrix Experience. Complete the title of this 1964 film, A Fistful of What? Knuckles, Dollars or Rage? And it is A Fistful of Dollars. Who originally recorded the song I Can't Help Myself in 1965? Was it The Four Tops, The Temptations or The Supremes? It was The Four Tops. Which female artist made the song Respect legendary in 1967? Was it Tina Turner, Diana Ross or Aretha Franklin? And the answer, Aretha Franklin. Who played the title character in Barbarella? Was it Bridget Bardot, Jane Fonda or Raquel Welsh? It was Jane Fonda. A Whiter Shade of Pale became a massive hit for which group in 1967? Procol Harum, The Grateful Dead or The Birds? And it was by Procol Harum. Who played the title character in the 1962 film Lawrence of Arabia? Was it Marlon Brando, Charlton Heston or Peter O'Toole? And that one was Peter O'Toole. Who directed the film Psycho, released in 1960? Was it Stanley Kubrick, Alfred Hitchcock or Francis Ford Coppola? Your answer there, Alfred Hitchcock. Who was the lead singer of the Supremes during the 1960s? Martha Reeves, Tina Turner or Diana Ross? It was Diana Ross. Name the 60s sitcom about a young witch called Samantha. Was it Bewitched, Charmed or The Addams Family? And it was Bewitched. Which film featured Steve McQueen racing through San Francisco in a Ford Mustang GT Fastback? Was it Bullet, Tokyo Drifter or The Italian Job? And it was Bullet. Name the Beach Boys album that included the hit, Wouldn't It Be Nice? Was it Abbey Road, Bookends or Pet Sounds? And it was Pet Sounds. 
Peter Fonda and Dennis Hopper on motorcycles. Name that 1969 film. Was it High and Low, Easy Rider or Midnight Cowboy? And it was Easy Rider. One last question. What was the very first single that you bought? It can be from any decade. Mine was KC and the Sunshine Band, Give It Up. Drop your answer in the comments down below and now try another quiz, one of these ones. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.